Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is fifth video in VCPA data center virtualization 2023 series. So in this video, we are going to see how to add VMware ESXi host to vCenter. So in last video, we have deployed and configured our vCenter server uh, <coughs> version uh, 8. So it's a brand new vCenter setup is ready and now we can go ahead and add the ESXi host. So in uh, I guess second video we created ESXi host. So same ESXi host I'm going to add in uh, my vCenter now. So vCenter basically provide you management for complete infrastructure. Uh, basically ESXi host, virtual, ma uh, virtual machines and all. So <coughs> let's go ahead and review the setup. So this is my vCenter, uh, this uh, vCenter server setup infrastructure or you can say lab infrastructure. So we got our first machine which is our domain controller. We got in last video we deployed this vCenter server appliance and we got two ESXi hosts. In fact I have four ESXi hosts. So this is the setup what we are going to use. So this is my brand new vCenter server which we installed in last video. So I'm going to first thing I'm going to create a new data center and let's call it uh, LHO labs and so on or click OK and then you'll see this uh, data center is created now within data center what we need to do we need to create a basically uh, add the ESXi host so to add ESXi host right click on data center add host then you can put your host name so uh, I'll show you one more thing if you go here and basically you will see all the option add host new cluster new folder and all these uh, options so let's click on add host I'm going to type the ESXi host name so ESXi01 dot labs and so on dot so click next type the credential which you want to use so I'm going to use the root account and now it will show you the make and model if you have so in my lab the, everything is running on nested virtualization or inside the VMware workstation that's why make an end model it's showing both VMware so click next and then if you have a license you can assign the license as well so lockdown mode by default is disabled click next and if there is a, any virtual machine you can put the location also so now click on finish now you see this ESXi host is getting added so same way I'm going to add my all ESXi host so ESXi2 same method root and password for root account next 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 finished and then third host So when you create a brand new uh, vCenter server, if you have a multiple ESXi host, you need to make sure all the ESXi host is added to vCenter server successfully. So I got my last ESXi host, ESXi4 pending. So I'll go ahead and add that also. So root and password. So now, now I got all my ESXi added here so you will see the information like storage how much storage it has you will see the hypervisor of which make and model uh, basically which build uh, which version and build it's running you if it's a like a, a physical server you will see the make and model here the type of processor how much logical processor how many virtual machine uptime all the information you can see here then you got the hardware information again like memory how much memory is installed storage like data store how many data store is there and all and if you have any uh, basically 
uh, configuration you can see which image profile we have we are using h status will configure later on in this video series so this is a snapshot of summary in monitoring you will see everything uh, configuration side if you want to verify anything you can go here here and verify we will go through these all configuration part one by one so you can see here permissions so in permissions you will see all the vSphere.local so everything what is coming from vSphere you will see those only so if you have a local account or basically a permission from ESXi host directly you will not see that because the global permissions and vCenter uh, server permission will come if you have like in the last video we have added permissions uh, to ESXi host to get the access through ESXi admin group you will not see here so this is one thing now VMs we got this our vCenter server running here and data store this was the data store where we deployed our vCenter server network and updates will review later on so you can see it's giving all the lifecycle management thing so you can cancel this and then if you have a basically baseline you can attach that baseline and uh, do the upgrade and everything so this is good so now in this video this is all I wanted to show how you can basically add your um, vCenter uh, ESXi host to vCenter server so if you are here in this mode you will see this <coughs> basically three servers kind of icon this is called host and um, cluster view so you will see the ESXi host if you click on VMs you will not see it. this is data store and this is basically network configuration part so now if I go here on my vCenter you will see all the configurations on vCenter server like how many hosts you got added here VMs uh, so VMware health status of the appliance uh, what is the health of appliance so appliance management if you click here it will take you to the console of appliance management so you can review from here vcenter ha we have not configured we will set up ha also in coming videos and this is the if you want to review this you can review all the host is added here also you will see the data store available on all the esxi host basically because we are checking vcenter so this is good this is how you can basically add your esxi host so my recommendation once this is done go and check all the options and make sure you are familiar with all the option before we move forward with the training of this uh, series so uh, go and check out all the features which is you can uh, see in in vcenter server and do some self-learning or theoretical part uh, so so when i'm going to discuss or configure something in upcoming videos you have some background information and if you are already aware about all these concept naming convention and all then it will be easy for you to you know grab the things so this is all about this video so thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post to me on my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye